We need to get these weapons of war off the streets. Well, these are weapons of war. Stop making it easy as possible for terrorists to buy assault weapons. Let me say something to every political hack pretending you know an AR-15 from a double-barreled shotgun in the wake of the Orlando terror attack. Stop talking. Every word not only exposes your ignorance, but your utter contempt for ordinary Americans trying to survive in an age of terror you still won't fully recognize. So here's a really simple question that anybody pushing for these ludicrous measures ought to have to answer. What is the specific legislation that would have prevented the Orlando terror attacks, that would have prevented San Bernardino, that would have prevented Paris, that would have prevented any of these things? Right. They don't have an answer because there isn't one. This is an attempt to control and disarm the population, and they're using the terror as a pretext to do it, and they should just admit that. The argument is that having a, what they call a weapon of war, an, an assault weapon, um, would cause a lot more carnage than somebody walking in with a knife. But then if you go on the other side of it, well, would, would the terrorists just use a bomb instead or find some other way to kill as many people? Or right. calling for, he's on a list, but he wasn't on a list. Well, a crockpot caused, uh, of course, those killings at the Boston Marathon. I think we need to regulate those or ban them. There's no reason you should be able to buy a crockpot at Walmart ever again. Let us know your thoughts on this. Friends at foxnews.com.